हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव ए क्वेश्चन ऑन फंक्शन चैप्टर इन द गिवन क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन ए फंक्शन एफ एक्स और वाई इक्वल्स टू टू एक्स माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई एक्स प्लस वन एंड वी नो एक्स कैन नॉट बी माइनस वन Now in the A part we have to identify the vertical asymptotes and the horizontal asymptote. Now to identify the vertical asymptote, what do you mean by the vertical asymptote? Suppose you have a graph. A vertical asymptote means a line which a graph touches at the infinity. and it is vertical that means we have to find the value of x for which y will tend towards infinity so even the given function 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 what are the values of y what values of x for which y will tend towards infinity so we know as x tended tends towards minus 1 it can be from the right hand side or from the left hand side so as x tends towards minus 1 y will tend towards infinity because as x tends to minus 1 denominator will become very very small and as a result the whole expression will become very large so one of the asymptotes or the vertical asymptote will be at x equals to minus 1 now let us try to find the horizontal asymptote when we talk about horizontal asymptotes we are trying to identify an horizontal line at which the graph meets at infinity now we can see when the line is horizontal either x is tending towards infinity or minus infinity so we have to see what are the values of y when limit x tends to infinity so in the given question we can see as x tends to infinity y tends to 2 and similarly as x tends to minus infinity y also tends to 2 so at y equals to 2 we have a horizontal asymptote now let us try to sketch the graph while sketching the graph we have two information already with us that at y equals to 2 we have a horizontal asymptote so this is your horizontal asymptote y equals to 2 and also we know that at x equals to minus 1 so at x equals to minus you have a vertical asymptote now we know the graph will tend towards y equals to 2 as x tends to infinity and y graph will tend towards x equals to minus 1 as y tends to infinity now is there any point where graph will cut the coordinate axis so we have y equals to 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 so we know that at x equals to 1 by 2 y will be equals to 0 so at x equals to half the value of y is 0 so there is one point we know on the graph now is there any point where it will cut 
the y-axis. When it will cut the y-axis, the x will be 0. So if we put x equals to 0, we know it will get minus 1. So at minus 1, it will cut the y-axis. Now, let us see what is happening now. Now, as x tends towards infinity or the positive infinity, we know the graph will tend towards 2. So, as x tends towards positive infinity, the graph is tending towards 2 and it passes through this point. So, this will be something like this, tending towards meeting this line at infinity. And we also know this will meet at minus 1 as well. Now, let us see what happens when we have. So, let us now see what happens when x approaches minus 1 from the right hand side. So we have the graph y equals to 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Now in this, x is tending towards minus 1 from the right hand side. So we put x minus 1 plus h minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus h plus 1. So what we get is minus 2 plus 2h minus 1 divided by h. So what we get is minus 3 by h plus 2. So as h tends towards 0, this whole term will tend towards negative infinity that it will be very very small number. So in the given graph we know as we approach minus 1 from the right hand side, the value of y is tending towards minus infinity. So at this asymptote the graph will touch at the negative infinity or near negative infinity now let us try to see what happens when we approach minus 1 from the negative side so when we approach minus 1 from the negative side this will be the value the value would be uh, we need to see what will be this, this is minus 2 minus 2h minus 1 divided by minus h so this will be 3 by h a negative will be cancelled plus 2 now as x tend h tends to 0 and x will tend towards minus 1 the value is tending towards positive infinity so at the left hand side of the minus 1 the graph will start from positive infinity and as we go down and down towards as x tends towards negative infinity as x tends towards negative infinity what happens we have the function 2x minus 1 x plus 1 and as x tends to minus infinity y will again tends to 2 so the graph will approach x equals to 2 as we tends towards as x tends towards minus infinity so this is your graph for the given function we have two asymptotes at x equals to minus 1 and y equals to 2 now let us try to solve the c part now let us move on to the c part in the c part we have to solve the inequality where the given function 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 we have to identify the value of x for which this function lies between 0 and 2 so we have already plotted the graph we can see when it lies between 0 to 2 this is the range that means it should lie between 0 and 2 so from here we can see the part for which this lies between 0 and 2 is for the values of x greater than half and up to infinity. So for the values from the graph, it is very very clear that for the x greater than half, the value of y lies between 2 and 0 
so our solution will be x belonging to half to infinity where half is not included because we have a strict inequality now let us move on to part d in the part d there is a slight variation that the function has changed to 2 modulus x minus 1 divided by modulus x plus 1 and it is lying between 0 and 2. So we have to solve this part and it is written there solve the inequality for this. Now we have already made the graph so let us try to plot this graph again. We know the graph would be something like this now let us see what happens when x is replaced with modulus x so in the given graph if you see as x is replaced by modulus x you can see the input x can never be negative it will always be positive because 2 times modulus x divided by modulus x plus 1 everything going in this function is positive so the negative part of this graph will be deleted. So what we will get is only the positive part of the graph. So the negative part of the graph is removed. What we get only is this is your y equals to 2 asymptote and the graph would be something like this. Starting with from minus 1 cutting at half so it would be like this and similarly at minus half it would be like this so it has become an even function now if we see we have to identify the values of x for which this lies between 0 and 2 so while we have the solutions x greater than half we also have the solution x less than minus half as you can see in the graph there is negative part also for which the graph is giving an output between 0 and 2 while we do have the positive part so our solution will be x belonging to minus infinity to minus half union half to infinity so this is your solution for the d part for more such questions, do visit our website www.iitnacademy.com and register for detailed explanations. Thank you.